The 2017 Oshkosh Joint Light Tactical Vehicle The U.S. military has just awarded a contract to Oshkosh Defense for its Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, called the LATV as a replacement for the aging Humvee. The LATV, or Light Combat Tactical All-Terrain Vehicle, will be slowly deployed over the next eight years, with approximately 17,000 units slated for production. The $6.7 billion contract covers both variants of the LATV, a two-seat base platform and a four-seater that comes as either the general-purpose vehicle or the close combat weapons carrier. A companion trailer is also included. The LATV is powered by General Motors' 6.6-liter Duramax V8 and is backed by an Allison 6-speed automatic transmission. Though the powertrain is outsourced, the LATV rides on Oshkosh's proprietary TOC 4i independent suspension system that is said to provide 20 inches of wheel travel with generous cargo capacity and unmatched off-road abilities. In fact, an early version became the first military vehicle to complete the Baja 1000, competing in the 2010 races. Oshkosh beat out big names like AM General and Lockheed Martin in winning the contract. Not only will Oshkosh supply the LATV, but it will continue to supply parts and services for decades to come. While the LATV nearly twice the size of the current Humvee, it still fits in a Lockheed C-130 airplane, along with other military transport vehicles. Air lift hooks protruding from its hood and rear bumper allow for helicopter transport, despite its 14,000-pound curb weight. Oshkosh will begin delivering LATVs in roughly 10 months' time. Continue reading for more info on the Oshkosh JLTV. Oshkosh LATV in action. Configurations. The Oshkosh LATV comes in two main configurations, two-door and four-door. The four-door model is then offered in two versions, a general-purpose carry-all and a gun platform. The general purpose model is equipped with a pickup bed for hauling cargo while the gun platform acts more as a four-wheeled tank. One of the top priorities for the LATV is troop protection. Its cabin is designed to guard against everything from small arms fire to roadside IEDs. Its construction takes after the MRAP vehicles, or mine-resistant ambush protected trucks, currently used by the U.S. military. All LATVs will be powered by a 6.6-liter V8 turbodiesel derived from General Motors Duramax V8 found in the 2015 Chevrolet Silverado and 2015 GMC Sierra HD pickups. The basic engine is then modified by famed diesel tuner Gale Banks Engineering for even more power. While the standard Duramax makes 397 horsepower and 765 pound-feet of torque, the LATV's version is expected to produce nearly 575 horsepower and 900 pound-feet of torque. Like in the GM trucks, the engine will be backed by the Allison 1000 six-speed automatic transmission. Design and use The Oshkosh LATV is a mean-looking beast and is unconventional in nearly every sense of the word. Not one part or design idea looks lifted off a production truck. The massive front grille is designed for superior cooling, and the integrated front bumper provides an excellent approach angle. The center section that makes up the passenger compartment is nearly impervious to small arms fire and makes surviving a roadside bomb much more likely. The rear of the vehicle is modular, allowing for any number of configurations and uses. The LATV rides on huge mud terrain tires fitted to beadlock wheels. The TOC 4i suspension system offers the driver on the fly control of ride settings and height adjustment, allowing for compensation for cargo or rough terrain. Every feature on the LATV is designed to keep its occupants safe in hostile territory while carrying out a variety of missions. The LATV offers remote control weapons systems, shot detection systems that help located the position of enemy fire, automatic fire suppression systems, and infrared and daylight camera systems. Conclusion It's a sad day knowing the venerable Humvee is on its way out, but the missions of today's military call for new vehicles and tactics. The LATV might be twice the size of the Humvee, but it's still a comparatively small vehicle for all the protection and versatility it offers. The LATV will slowly begin replacing the Army and Marine Corps' current fleet as supply allows.
If the Oshkosh surpasses expectations, the military has the option of ordering another 38,000 units. Love it safer, more powerful than Humvee full of high-tech war fighting gear better off-road than the Humvee. Leave it much larger than Humvee expensive slow rollout means troops still using old equipment. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.